Hi there. This is Mike Blackie, physical therapist and owner of Blackie Physical Therapy in El Dorado Hills, California. And today I want to share with you an ankle mobilization and self-stretching mobilization strengthening program I've developed and uh, I have a lot of my patients do at home. A lot of times those folks with really restricted or tight ankles have pain or problems higher up into the kinetic chain, like in your knee, hip, low back, pelvis, or even locally in the Achilles tendon or plantar fascia. These problems can be contributed to by uh, a tight or restricted ankle. It doesn't move well when you walk and that type of thing. Um, so we have them do these exercises in addition to the manual therapy that we do. Um, if you have local ankle pain, if you have a recent ankle sprain, uh, pain that hasn't been checked out by a professional, um, please do that first. Go see your local physical therapist before you try this. Otherwise, stay tuned. Okay, um, I'm going to show you the mechanics of the ankle um, when walking and that type of thing. Uh, a lot of times, one of the first things we need to do to get an ankle to move better is to get this joint or this bone right here called the talus to have improved mobility. This talus right here, when we walk, when we come over our toes, when the leg and the body weight comes over the foot like this before you push off, this talus has to roll underneath this bone called the tibia. There has to be a backward rolling of the talus underneath the tibia. A lot of people are very limited with that mobility and they don't have very efficient mobility of this talus rolling back. A lot of times they get uh, pinching in front of their ankles or a lot of times it's just stiff. They don't go back very far and that affects their walking and that affects the hip, the, the joints higher up in the chain. So what we do in, in the clinic is that we come in here and do manual therapy to help to mobilize that joint backward. Um, at home, what I teach my patients is we get a rope, three quarter inch diameter rope, nice soft rope, and we can actually provide a backward, a down and back force right on that bone, right on the talus right here. We can pull that down and back, have the patient's foot on the ground and have them bend their knee over that bone, the talus. And what happens then is the force of that rope pulling back on that talus bone um, allows the lower leg to come over that talus and start to mobilize the ankle. So let me show you what that looks like. So I got this rope at Home Depot, as, like I said, three quarter inch, um, it's maybe 10 feet long, tied it in a knot. I've got one of these loops uh, that I happen to have for my uh, support cords, that type of thing. If you don't have a loop that you can close in the, um, in the door, might have to loop this around a basketball pole or, or something stable like that. Sometimes I have my patients park their car tires on this because you're going to be providing a lot of force on this rope and if you put it around a table leg, you'll drag the table across the room, okay? So I'm going to take this and close it in the doorway. Okay, that's nice and tight. And I'm going to put this loop right over my my foot like this. Now, just like I did on the, on the model there, I'm gonna push this down below these little bumps that you have, these little bony bumps we call the malleoli in the ankle. It's gonna go below them, and I'm gonna tighten up this rope by lifting my toes, sliding my heel forward as far as it goes. As I hold the rope down, I'm gonna put my toes down. And I should feel some pressure on the front of my ankle, not pain, but pressure. And as I bend my knee forward, that pressure increases and lets up a little bit, increases, eases up, increases, eases up. So I'm mobilizing my talus bone in a backward direction. And as I go, it starts to be a little bit less tender, which means it's starting to loosen up. Sometimes your foot will slide backward a little bit. In that case, you lift up your toes, slide your heel forward, reposition the rope, put your toes back down, and you're back in action, forward and back, nice and easy, you don't cause pain ever, pressure is fine. As long as your foot isn't sliding, um, and as you keep doing this, if you feel like the pressure is decreasing, that's a good sign maybe you're loosening up that joint. So it maybe takes a minute, maybe a little more than a minute, and when you feel that pressure ease up, you know that you're pretty much done mobilizing that joint for the day.
Okay, next thing we need to do uh, for the ankle is we need to start doing some balance, um, functional strengthening, and um, some functional range of motion uh, exercises for the ankle. So we've got the ankle loosened up, it's moving better, now we need to teach that ankle to move in that new range of motion. And this exercise we call the functional calf exercise. I learned this from a physical therapist named Gary Gray. And I'm going to bring the, on my right foot, I'm going to bring my toes maybe three inches from the wall. And if I can stand on one leg without pain, having trouble like that, that's great. If not, I'll just put my left toes down for balance. But I'm going to go on one leg. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean forward from my ankle and slightly, to barely touch my nose to the wall and then push back. So I'm bending at my ankle. Touch and back. So this is cheating. If I bend at my hip and do that, that's not really working my ankle. So I'm going to keep my my spine and my leg in line with each other or straight. I'm going to come forward from the ankle. The weight shifts to the ball of my foot as I touch my nose to the wall lightly. And I push the ball of my foot into the ground to come back on my heel. Now if I want to make it a little harder, I'm going to come out maybe half an inch at the most. And that'll make it a little bit harder if I come a little further away from the wall by a half inch. Come forward and back. So this kind of simulates what happens when we're walking and our foot's on the ground and our body weight is moving over that foot right before we push off. Functional calf exercise. Coming forward, touching, coming back. Okay, so we're ready for the last exercise. This last exercise is a great way to progress somebody back to more active um, sports, working out. It's kind of a good bridge between um, just starting to move their ankle with a little bit of balance stuff and starts to incorporate um, the knee and the hip joint. And this works on balance, range of motion at the ankle and strengthening of the whole leg and even the core a little bit. So it's a great, great functional exercise. I use this all the time with patients. It's called Balance and Reach. And this was developed by uh, Gary Gray also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand on my right leg. And if I need to hold something for balance, I can hold on to something like that or a table or a wall or something. But I'm going to go without holding on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend forward and slide my non-involved leg, my left foot back. It's going to skim the floor. Maybe you know, uh, off the floor, but no more than an inch off the floor until I can't reach it back any further unless I bend my knee. So what I've done here, is I've got myself inclined forward by bringing my leg back. First, I'm not bending my knee, I'm just bending my hip and I'm sliding my foot back without lifting it up. When I can't go back any further, I've got a nice bend at my hips. My glutes are already active. To get my foot back further, I gotta bend my knee. Now my quads are active. My calf is active, my glutes are active. I'm working on balance, stability, and range of motion at the ankle. First reach back, bend the knee to get back further. Balance, reach, we call this. Reach back, bend the knee to get back further. If you have knee pain with this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this one until you get checked out by a professional or a local physical therapist since I can't evaluate you unless you come in here. But if you're doing okay, it's a great exercise. Reach back. Okay, and that's it. That's my ankle mobilization, stability, and strengthening progression. If you have any questions, or if you'd like to contact me, go to my website, www.plackypt.com. That's P as in Peter, L-A-C-H-Y-P-T as in physical therapy.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.